Hey, this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ENTB, and we will take a look at the weekly time frame. It is Friday, so good timing here to be able to use the weekly. If you're not familiar with what I mean, instead of each one of these bars representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents one week's worth of price action. So each candle has five days within it. And on that note, actually, just a friendly reminder, next week is only four days. President's Day is on Monday, so if you weren't aware of that, now you are. So let's look at the chart here. And it's a good reason why I have to do the weekly, simply because in order to find where next levels of resistance are, because it made such a big uh, move this week, you know, I have to go back quite a bit of ways in history. But I do want to touch on the daily chart just real quick as more of an example. But this is just a great example of a truly strong bounce. It exploded here and then... Look what happened. It came down and found support right at the 200 day simple moving average. You know, that's a good sign of true strength. You know, the, lots of stocks, you know, make moves upwards, but then when a pullback happens, they just collapse. Not the case here. Sure, a pullback did happen, but it proved to be a healthy pullback as it held above that level of support the entire time. And now you're seeing the results of that. So, a nice little example there on the daily chart. And if you are, you know, playing the daily chart, that's obviously going to continue to be a key level of support. So, looking back here on the weekly. From the weekly perspective, we have a couple new supports that were put in today. What I mean by, or I should say this week, excuse me, because these were previous levels of resistance, but now because the price is above them, they've turned into supports. So the first couple are, look like they're right next to each other, but it's going to be the 50-week simple moving average, which is valued at 0 0.0048. And then we have this previous high, which is also valued at 0 0.005. So you can see right there, a kind of little support zone. Maybe that's the best way to put it between four between 0 0.0048 and 0 0.005. In terms of more of what I'll call a must hold level of support, meaning if this is truly a strong move, then this level down here at uh, 0 0.0025 should have no problem holding it at all. Now I totally understand nobody wants to see it drop down that far, but in any event that it does, uh, this is the must hold level. Because let's think about that even if it does and find support here and then heads back up, this let a set of lows is higher than this set. And then when you connect them, we'd still be able to draw an uptrend line. And that's what we're trying to, trying to do. It's all about uptrends. Now, in terms of resistance levels, uh, I can't tell if this is a resistance still or it got turned into a support. It looks like it's still going to be a resistance. I'm going to drop it down there because, as you can see, two weeks in a row there. Uh, so this level at 0 0.008. So it didn't quite hit it. It got as high as 0 0.0077 this week. But 0 0.008 is going to be the next technical level of resistance. And then after that, Looking at more so up here around, probably right around the penny if I'm just eyeballing it. Um, whoops, struggling here. There we go. Yeah, right at right at a penny, which is no surprise because that's usually a psychological level of resistance, anyways. But all in all, good looking chart. Nice action by the bulls today or this week. And uh, as long as that continues to happen in, in terms of higher lows, then I'm sure I'll be back to update this chart sooner than later. If there are any other questions though on the chart, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to sign up for our newsletter up there. And when you do that, as you'll see, you'll get a free ebook. And if you like the video and want to learn more about charting and make an investment into your education, I'd encourage you to check out our video course down there over eight and a half hours of education and video. I've been getting good third party reviews, so I'd encourage you to check it out and give it a try. One more time, this was ENTB. Thanks for listening and have a good weekend.